hey there how's going welcome to loop learnings this is video number 15 and we are continuing making uh, user interface of our school management system if you are new to my channel welcome to loop learnings if you are returning welcome back if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet make sure that you do and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video right so we are going to continue with uh, making forms for the school management system until now we have created forms for related to exam classes subjects etc etc now let's begin with the fee so fee collection fee types fee categories etc the form that you're looking at is going to be used to create the different fee types for example you know admission fee tuition fee exam fee transportation fee etc etc so um, to create the categories or the types of the fee we will use this form now having said that we will uh, use the record set and uh, we will uh, fetch the information we will create the information using all of the record set now uh, as you can see the form is already created i have created a form skeleton of it i have added all the text boxes that are required and the list boxes and uh, the uh, two two new uh, buttons as well so these buttons as you can see add new will help us to create a new record update button will help us to update the record by name you can understand and we have couple of controls text boxes and then list box as well now let's begin with add new so i'm going to right click on it design view and let's go to the uh, behind the scenes of the vb editor and only one logic we will think about is that the fee type should not be empty that's the logic we want and uh, if that is not the case then go ahead and create a record so let's click on add new we'll click on dot 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 in the property sheet on click event and now we are here uh, in the vba editor in it first we will type the condition so if nz and and z it means uh, let's add me dot uh, what's the name fee type okay me dot fee type equals double quote double quote then do cmd dot beep message box please provide the fee type okay all right we be critical and information okay uh, let's set the focus as well to enhance our user interface and now if that is false then what well then declare the variable first so we'll use record set to use record set we'll say dim rs create as record set okay and then we will set that record set here so set rs create equals current db dot open record set prince open prince close and in here we'll provide the name of record set which is actually the table so where is the table here it is so let's copy the name of table okay so this is the record set this is the reference we are going to provide here now let's create the record so rs create dot add sorry dot add new and rs create dot update okay not update options update now in here we will use for each line for each field we will take the information from the form and then we will we'll, we will paste in here so let's say rs create exclamation mark fee type equals me dot fee type rs create exclamation mark status equals me dot status sorry me dot status no it's not status it is active so we'll do the hard coding okay um then we will have rs create exclamation mark status date equals format principal principal close 
and we'll say what it, what should be our format well first of all now comma double quote double quote day month year that will be the format okay and that is it essentially okay now that is done now what else we need to do well once that is uh, recorded uh, or the uh, the uh, table is updated we will through a message box uh, give a confirmation do cmd dot b message box the fee type has been created comma vb information oops comma information all right now after that what i want think logically so i want this list box to be requery to refresh the information so me dot list dot requery what is the next step let's think about logically as well what i want as a user i should have these fields to be emptied when the moment i create a record and i save the record and that's what we are going to do so me dot v type equals double quote double quote me dot status equals double quote double quote me dot status date equals double quote double quote that's it now let's uh, debug it okay one more thing before i forget because we have opened the record set in here we have added the record we have updated the record set let's close this record set as well so rs create dot close okay this is very important that whatever record set or table or query you open make sure you, that you close it let's debug it and there is an error what's the error invalid use of property yep equal to sign is missing let's debug there we go it's always good to debug test as you are writing code all right now that is done let's do a little bit of coding behind update button and to update record what do we need well we need id that is must that is actually a uh, precondition uh, prerequisite that we have to have in order to update any record so we'll uh, have that logic built in in our VBA. So let's click on v uh, update dot dot dot. And there is already dim uh, declared. So let's move on and let's say if NZ me dot fee type ID equals double quote double quote then then. So it's the same that if the fee type ID is empty then what next well do cmd dot beep message box please choose a record to proceed further okay comma we be critical comma information right else and if okay so i'm fasting so you know because of that it's actually very difficult for me to <laughs> uh, stay active and keep talking uh, because i just got back from work so i thought i'll quickly record a video anyway so let's open uh, let's use the uh, record set we have already declared our variable called rs update so we'll say uh, set rs update equals current db dot open record set principle open principle close and here you provide the name of the table again fee type t fee type t comma and db db open dyna set okay all right so rs update dot find first remember i spoke about the logic that this table might have hundred or thousands of records so we need to find the one that is chosen by the cus uh, not by the customer by the user so that's why we have to have uh, this uh, id available so we can find that 
ID from the record set, which is table. So that's why uh, feed type. So we'll say feed type ID equals me dot feed type ID. And in here, ampersand. Okay. Now we are ready to update the record. So RS update dot edit rs update dot update okay now essentially within this two line of course i will be typing exactly the same that i typed in for the create so i'll just copy that from the create button and i'll paste in here and there we go just one change i need to make so i will change the rs create to rs update why because here we are updating the information actually other things as well so for example uh you know let's look at this so message box close essentially everything is exactly the same that i used before so instead of create it we'll say update it instead of rs create we will update that to rs update it and me dot fee type id mm -hmm. <laughs> me dot fee type id equals double code double code there you go actually our code is all right done let's go ahead and test it so form view well first we'll create a record fee type which is admission fee right let's create there you go okay and it is working as well update button also working so admission fee tuition fee okay then we have exam fee then we have transportation fee okay let's update a record let's say exam fee i will by mistake add this so update now you can see it is updated now i'm going to remove it just to show you that the update function works as well there you go that's it that's what i wanted to demonstrate i hope that you have learned something if you have not please do let me know in the comments below if you like whatever you've seen smash the like button and um, that's it for today i will see you in the next one till then take care bye bye